Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to what you, whoa, <laughs> what you need to know for the week of September, golly gee, September 18th, Scorpio. <laughs> Cards are spitting out everywhere. What do you need to know, Scorpio? Cards, a nice, concise message. We've, we've had some confusion in the readings. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's still Mercury retrograde of having an effect. Ah, Six of Wands, a victory. <gasps> oh, the Earth Mother, the Empress. Okay, so if you're looking to get pregnant, hello. It's happening. There is definite success. Whether you're getting pregnant with a brand new something, we're going to find out what it is. Could be love, because if you read, take, watch the love shorts. The Empress shows up and so does the Six of Wands. I just can't remember how it, how it happens. Let's see. Tell us more for Scorpio, what they need to know for this week. Wow. Check you out, Scorpio. Oh, <gasps> King of Swords could be involving an air sign or could be you acting like an air sign. And the moon, Cancer, could also be. This is about you that while you were kind of, you know, oh, I love when I do that. And it, there's something bings in my head. The King of Swords could mean that you've been acting like a King of Swords. You've been reading everything, really planning, really figuring things out. And then around the full moon, there's a full moon, September 29th. Whatever you're doing now, I believe comes to fruition somewhere around the 29th of September. Could also be that you're not, that you're not comfortable. You don't really know, but you've been planning. You've really been planning something. The cards are saying whatever it is, it's going to be a success. Okay, tell us more for Scorpio for this week. Ten of Pentacles. This is so Scorpio. Every Scorpio I know is this. The Ten of Pentacles is generational wealth. They all work to make sure that their families are provided for in the future. They will work forever until they can no longer work, all in the process and the effort of having the Ten of Pentacles. And Scorpio, whatever you are working on is going to do just that. You really do have success coming. Look at that. Something you're very passionate about could also involve a fire sign, the King of Wands. Yeah, you got it. Scorpio, I don't even know if I should bother with any more cards because I just can't. Oh, well, I say that and two cards fall out. Look at that. The Nine of Pentacles. Money, having, you know, everything. You will. And the Five of Swords. So to me, this means that there might be some bargaining going on. But you're going to be fine because we already know that you got the Ten of Pentacles. But this to me means with the Five of Swords, it's be careful not to cut someone out in an effort to get from the nine to the ten. Be careful that you don't hurt someone in the process, okay? Because, and don't laugh, I'm noticing the peacock in the background and I feel like watch that you don't try to make yourself feel better by making someone else feel worse. You know that my ego thing, the, the ego where you want to make you feel better and sometimes you step on someone else in the process? Don't do that. But success is yours, Scorpio. See, Melody's card for you is self-care. Drowning doesn't always require water. You know what that is about? That's about... I, I hate to say it this way. When it comes to self-care... Your self-care is going to be um, taking care of yourself well enough that you don't need to step on anyone else to get where you want to go. To me, this self-care involves taking care of yourself and bolstering how you feel so that you don't need to take it from someone. You just provide it. I don't know if that makes sense. Scorpio, if this resonates, let me know. If I'm confused, let me know. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Bye.